So you didn't go to church today? Why didn't you go to mass? I washed my clothes yesterday, but they are not dry. Huh? Ike. Ike, you're a liar. You're a fat liar. So you also lie on Sunday morning. Kisley and I reminded you last night to prepare for mass against this morning, didn't we? Let me tell you. I employed you here because your father disturbed me a lot. If you miss mass here again, just once, I'll bundle you back to your father. Is that clear? You see, we all know how brilliant you are. But all that will come to nothing if you start misbehaving at this point in time. You must face your studies squarely, alright? Forget about those boys in, in school. They can only distract you. I've heard you, brother. I've always promised to be a good girl. And I've lived up to it. I will not deviate now. Okay, you. I don't need to remind you that Kingsley and I came out with the best results in our respective departments. And we expect you to do the same. I will not decide. I pray so. Hi. Listen, Ogechi, all we want you to do is go out there and make this family proud. Okay? We love you so much and we're going to miss you. All right, it's okay, boy. Let's go drop off. Come back. Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. Baby sister. Okay. Uh, Kings, you have the keys. Oh yeah. Wow. not ethical. Uh, uh, that's a very good question. You're right. But you see, you can hardly run any successful business without being owed by people. Uh, it's all part of the business transactions. It's only when the debts are allowed to last for too long they now become bad debts, become very, very difficult to recover. But ordinarily, you'll be owed once in a while. Yeah. And what is the accountant doing about it? He writes them occasionally to remind them that they are owing us. I mean, he, uh, he can hardly do beyond that. Dad, is that all he has been doing? Well, I'm afraid that's, uh, that's all he's supposed to do, really. <laughs> Mm. Um, Dad. Kinsley and I will go and meet them ourselves and recover the money. I think you're right. Yes. Dad, what do you think? Well, I, I think it's a good idea. In business, it's called the personal touch. Maybe when they see you two young men and see how desperate you are and what you're capable of doing if you are ignored, they begin to pay. Then, in that case, let's go. Yes, all right. It's all right. Okay. Thanks for the permission. It's all right. Good luck. All right, Daddy. Mm -hmm. all right. Let's go and meet the accountant. Yes, yes. Get some of the information. All, all right. right. Exactly. Right. 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 Do you need coffee? No. All right. Uh, 
I like the enterprising spirit of these young men. I like their dynamism. Now I know that if I leave the company completely in their hands, I will not lose at all. And I thank God for doing me such nice, hardworking young men. What is all this for us? I am not saying I'm not going to win. Why are you throwing me about as if I'm going uh, uh, in a whole nation? Come on, 800,000 naira, just a chicken change compared with what your father has. Why are you fooling me about like KFCC? Just because of uh, 800,000 naira, which is just a chicken change compared with what your father has. What's all this thing for God's sake? Did you see chicken change? Yes! Mr. Bello, we need that chicken change. In Luke chapter 15, verse 8, Jesus told his audience that a woman had 10 pieces of silver. One got missing. She dropped the remaining nine, lit up a candle in search of the missing one. The reason is that you don't have to forget about one because you have nine. If every Dick, Tom, and Harry owe us like you do, then we'll soon fold up that company. Can I have the money now? Come, come, come. To my office with her knocking. Hey, save your breath, Raf. Save your breath. I checked your secretary's office, but uh, I didn't know she was in here busy with you. Huh? What that supposed to mean? Well, that she was. I know. She was working for you. I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm here for our money. Raf. Linda. Go back to your office. Exactly. You have better things to do in there. Do you like what you see? You are here for your money, right? Okay. Or rather your father's money. What difference does it make? A whole lot of difference. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, I'm yet to notice any. Meanwhile, Raph. I can't believe you still do this. In your office? Man, mixing business with pleasure, I don't think that's a good style. For me, it works for me. I'm not surprised it doesn't work for you. Mm. I see. Well, that's not an issue. What do you know? You know nothing. You don't know how pleasant it is to be independent. And what are you driving at? You know something? You still work for your father. Yes? While I work for myself. And so? No one tells me what to do in my office or how to use my money. You are here because your father asked you to. You see, you, you can run things for yourself and just be free as I am. Raphael, I never told you I was complaining. Yes, you are. That's why I spoke about business and pleasure. Anyway, schoolmate. I write your check. Good, because that's why I'm here. Calculator. <laughs> yes, fine prediction. But all that wizardry is understandable. I mean, like, nice. people say, like, father, like, songs. <laughs> there you go again. Oh, oh, yes, and don't get you too. It's she too like, is turning into something else. Like really, like, 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 like her mother. Uh, by the way, nine. Don't get you called earlier on. Mm. 
Mm, he said that her money is finished, that she needs some money, that she's so broke. Yeah, so broke. I did say like her mother. Nah. What did she do with the money I sent her a few days ago? Did you hear that? <sighs> what does Oge to do with money? I wonder. Whatever spent the kind of money Oge to spends in the semester while we were still in school. And I lie. No. We're never extravagant. I mean, we knew there was money here, but we didn't go spending unnecessarily just like she's doing. Yes, I... Uh, I don't encourage my children to be wasteful. I teach them to be prudent in the disbursement of funds. Ogechi should borrow a leaf from the Peter Principle, which says that work spreads to meet the time allotted to it. She should spread money sent to her. By the way, you did talk about some chicken. Okay, this is the time. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, please. Chicken time. <laughs> Dad, uh, we've closed from work and we thought it was wise to grace a friend's party. Did you tell us you were going for a party? We didn't intend spending much time, so it was not really necessary calling to inform you. Shut up! But mm -hmm. Dad, we can take care of ourselves. You can take care of yourselves. Look at your mother sitting up this late waiting for you. You can take care of yourself. Should I be sitting here by now? Look at the way both of you look. But I've been drinking and womanizing. Let me tell you, at your age, I did not drink, I did not womanize. It was only after I made my money that I started drinking and well, womanizing quite naturally. If you begin this early, you waste everything you pick up. And I tell you that. Um, Dad, we're sorry. So I go to your rooms. Don't get yourself worked up. These two are not capable of womanizing and drinking. Shut up. Didn't you tell me last night that you found a packet of condoms in one of their pockets? Didn't you? And I kept them without drinking. I'm <laughs> no, let's go and sleep. I'm not, I'm not sleeping. I don't want to see this young man here again, ever. Young girl, that applies to you. Now both of you get out of this compound now. But dad, he's our friend and he just came to see us. What's all this, man? Oh man, I'm too big for this, man. Johnson, 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 listen, listen. Johnson, 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 listen. I'm so sorry, Kevin. Understand my children, but also try and understand your father's point of view. He wants the best for you. And the best for us is to embarrass us before our friends and his girlfriend. That's the point. Your father thinks such company is bad influence on you. Mom, what influence will he have on us that we didn't have while in school all alone without you or dad? Which influence? All I know is that your father means well. You won't understand. He's only protecting his kids. Mom, please stop talking about this protection thing. Protect us. Over what? Huh? 
Is Johnson a, a bomb or explosive that is about to kill us? The point is, Dad embarrassed us today. Period. Sonny, calm down. You should try and understand your father. Mom, the embarrassment was just too much. Saito. So Saito. Sonny, come back here. Sonny. Saito. I mean, why would you walk out on her mother while she was still talking? Why was she supporting that action? When she knows the truth? I don't say it that way. Listen, Kizito, I feel the same way you are feeling right now. But walking out on her mother was just too rude. Look, okay, fine. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry I walked out. But, but, but I was so pissed. I had to leave. I am sick and tired of being treated like a kid. The other day, Dad scolded us because we came back from Francis party just a little bit late. He scolded us like we were 10 year old kids running free on the streets. And just today, Dad embarrassed and insulted our friend before our presence. Huh? Can't you see that one day Dad is going to flog our visitor in our presence? Listen, Kizito, I felt terrible myself, all right? You see, Dad embarrassed us before our friend. I was ashamed of myself too. But that's not enough to take the anger on her mother. Walking out on her was very rude of you. I felt terrible when you walked out. And I know she's feeling the same way too. Listen, boy. You have to go back to her and apologize to her. She is a mother, no matter how you may see the case. Okay? I want to Johnson around? Yeah, he is. Uh, please let him know that I'm around. Alright, I'll do that. Please sit. Thank you very much. John, the son of man. So, <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm cool, man. Wow. And you? I'm fine. I'm cool, fine. right? <laughs> Johnson, I, yeah. I hope you're not still upset about oh, the last time. Oh, forget it, man. Forget it. Are right. you sure? No sweat, man. No sweat. Come on, one dog. One dog. <laughs> All right? Yes. Come on. One dog, man. Forget it. Sit down. Thank you very much. Sit down. Relax. Thank you. Relax. <sighs> wow. Keyboard. So, what do I have for you? Ouch. Any soft? By the way, this is uh, Juliet. Juliet Kizito is one of the big boys. Nice to meet you. She's our friend. Oh. Hi. Hi, uh, Juliet. It's my pleasure meeting you, Juliet. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, John the son of mine. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> How is business? Oh, uh, business is okay. Very, very cool. As you can see, I'm living well. Well, very I can cool. see. Very it's really cool. okay. <laughs> Talking about business, we, we have plenty of it to talk about. Yes, I, I remember the last time he came, he said something about some kind of business. Yeah. Let's go inside. I'll follow you. Come on. Alright, no right. problem. Let's go. Ladies. Alright, I'm coming. Excuse yeah. me, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Juliet, Sandra. Okay. <sighs> 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 
think I like him. What? Already? What do you mean, what already? The guy's cute. Like Alright. He's nothing really bad. Just relax. When they come back, you can ask him out. Of course, I'm going to ask him out. Mm -hmm. I like the guy. No, 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 no. Guys, I like him. Hey, easy. I like him. Hey. Hey. I'm not going to act. Hi. Hi. It's not necessary you know now. But when I start executing the business, you will definitely know. I just didn't need the money for now. It's all right. Let me uh, borrow your own expression. It's not necessary that I give you the money now. The discussion is over. <laughs> so this lady is still alive. <laughs> this is incredible. something like a loan to execute my business. A loan? What kind of business is that? I'm not obliged to tell anyone. Saito, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with me is that I am trying to be financially independent. Yes! King go. Think about it. We are grown-ups. And it's high time we start acting like one. We cannot continue to go cap in hand each time we go to beg that for money. Where there are businesses out there that could fetch us money. But we get virtually everything we want from that. There is no need to keep running around when we can... When he will always give you peanuts. Yes. Listen. Go. I have a deal. A profitable deal. It will only cost me five million naira to execute it. At the end of the business, my profit will be three cool, chilling million. 
And I intend to give Dad his five million back and keep my three million for myself. Now tell me, what do you call that? Isn't that progress? Control? Doing what you want to do when you want to do it? You said that's family. Who are his family? Who? Are we not his family? Huh? Everything that dad has belongs to us. We are his children. We are the heir apparent to everything. Uh, Kingsley, just give me a break, okay? Give me a break. Because it's obvious you don't want to reason with me. All of you are talking with him. Brother is not yet back? No, I don't know. I don't know. He's not yet back. Hey! Try his number. Try whatever he has on him. We have to know if he's okay. Mom, I've tried his line more than 30 times. It's not going. Casey, try his number. Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Where is my baby? Mom, go to bed. You'll be fine. Did you say sleep? When your brother is not yet back in this house? I don't know. He didn't tell me anything. Casey, try his number. Keep trying, please. How? Run my own affairs? What's that? Why is this stopping me? Huh? This oh, shit. Alright. Guy, relax, man. Relax, alright? If you're still interested in this business, 
Anytime you're ready, I'm ready. All right? Johnson, I am still interested. I am so interested. And my father, he must give me that money. He must, oh. Ha! He must give me the money. Whether by hook or by crook. What's that? Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. What is it? Nothing. It's just that your guy is a little bit upset. Oh, my darling. What is it? Hey, boy. What's wrong? What is it? The guy is now. I know what happened. My love. What is it? Come on and talk to me. What is it? Juliet, I'm fine. I'm fine. Problems. From the way I see you, you don't look fine to me. So tell me what's the matter. Okay. But whatever it is, you just have to cheer up. Things only work out when you take things easy. Meanwhile, I'm going to get you a drink. That will definitely make you better. Come on. So how's it been going? Okay, my It's more like a bit. Relax, man. Alright? Kiss you though. Just take it easy, alright? Take care of yourself. Ciao. Back to you. Look at me. Come here. This young man on your TV screen has been declared missing. His name is Mr. Kizito A.K. He was last seen two days ago. That is Tuesday, the 24th of September, 2006. He is fair complexioned and speaks Igbo and English languages plainly. Anyone with information about your about should please contact Chief Richard A.K. of Plot 10, Trinity Close, Maryland, or the United Police Station. Thank you. What?
You are under arrest. What? I said you are under arrest. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. Are you? Are you? You are declared missing, and the instruction is that we should bring it to the station if found. So, calm down. You look like I'm missing. Calm down immediately. No, no, no. You don't know what you're talking about. Because you my friend, you hear what you said? Calm down. Calm down. Come, 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 come. Wait, hold on, hold on. What is wrong with you people? Huh? What sort of embarrassment is this? You were declared missing, and the instruction is that we should take you to the station in fact. Are you mad? We get up! Where are you? doing this to us. Well, this is a problem. I am your mother. Hey, Sonny? No. I should be the one asking questions here. What is the meaning of all these insults? Huh? What have I done to deserve this? What? Why would you people label me a missing person? Me? Missing? And I was coming home to find out how I got missing. Then the police arrested me because you ordered them to arrest me as a missing person. What, 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 what kind of insults is this? Insults? We, your family, went around searching for you. That's an insult to you. So this is an insult to you? Now, where have you been? Hey, hey stay out of this. I should stay out of this? Yes! Are you mad? When we've all been looking for you, we've been searching everywhere for you, and all you could say now is that I should stay out of this. <laughs> Are you out of your senses? There's something wrong with you! Let's go! 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 Yes? Yeah, Jude, what, what is it? What? I'm not missing for Christ's sake! I'm in my house! In my family house! Look! Have you seen? Ha, have you Go, go, go! Yes. But what is it? What, what, what? Stop! I am not missing! I, I mean... Look, don't, don't, don't call my phone again! Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Huh? The whole world now considers me missing! What is all this? Huh? Am I not grown enough to handle my own affairs? Perfectly! Eh? Am I a slave? Kesito! Do you realize you're talking to our mother? And so what? Eh? And so what? And so what? You're insulting our mother and you're telling me, and so what? Eh? What has come over you? Say it again! Say it again now and I'll beat you blue black! Say it again! Say it again I can take you go go!
yourself lately? You've been acting funny. You don't relate to me, Saito. Is there anything you're not telling me? Kinsley, if you don't mind, I wish to be alone. I am not in a mood to talk. You're not in a mood to talk to me? Zaito. Zaito. to be independent. Mm. You never told me you've been in captivity all this while, did you? That, that's not what I'm talking about. I want to let you know that I know the worth of this family's wealth. And I know the number of people in this family. Therefore, I know my own share and I want it now. Have you been smoking? Smoking? Mm. I don't smoke, Dad. What I'm saying is that I want my own share of the family's wealth. And I want it now. Get out of here before we make the wrong headlines. <sighs> Dad. I know my rights. And I've come of age. All I am asking for is my right. Can you 
see what I'm saying right now? Can you see it? I want him, I want him, I swear to God, I will deal with him, just want him. Who was it that said that uh, yeah, they tied in the affairs of man, which, if taken out of the flood, leads on to fortune? I think somebody said that, Shakespeare perhaps. Um, a few days ago, Sonny came up to me and said there was something he wished to tell me. I asked him to go ahead. He had my permission to speak. I gave him my permission to tell me whatever it was he wanted to say, and uh, what he said shocked me. Unbelievable. I mean, I couldn't believe he was capable of saying what he said. At first, I was tempted to dismiss it with a wave of the hand, but on second thoughts, I said I should table it before the family. So you'll give me your impressions. Sonny? Um, <clears throat> let me start by reminding you all that in a month's time, I will be 26 years old. And that means that I'm no more a kid. I am getting older, not younger. And that means that I can perfectly handle my own affairs. Well, all I told Daddy is that I want to be on my own. And what do you mean by that? What I mean is that I want my own share of the family's wealth. What? What? That's what he told me. Go on. You want your own share of the family's wealth? when our father is still alive? Do you realize what you're saying? I know what I'm saying. I've thought about this, and I've made up my mind. I wish to move on. I, I, I wish to live my own life the way I want. I want to be on my own. I want to be independent. You want to be independent? Kizito, dad left his company for us to manage. Dad left in our care virtually everything that belongs to this family for both of us to manage. What kind of independence are you talking about? That is exactly my point. That's the point. Dad left his company for us. I want my own company. I want to start making my own wealth. I want to be a man of my own. All I want is to be independent. And I'll be so glad if this request is granted. Dad. Yeah. I think something is wrong with Kiseto. Mm. I am of the opinion that some screws are loose because... Mm -hmm. uh, Madness comes in various colors. Um, well, you have all heard him. I suggest that we all retire. Think about what he has just said. When we reassemble to deliberate on this, I'll get your views. Thank you, sir. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as from the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O oh God, we thank you for today. We thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed on this family. 
you have been our guide all through our lives. A member of this family is going astray, Lord. We entreat you to direct him aright. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I know something must have left in that your actions lately. But I beg you in the name of God to rescind your decisions and uh, stay together with your family. There is nothing that can be compared to a family. I envy those of you that have families. You see, I have no sisters, I have no brothers. I lost my parents when I was three years old. I wish they were alive today. But then, you certainly cannot question God. So for whatever reason, don't leave your family. Father, I don't like being painted as the devil. I'm just asking for my rights. That's all. I mean, there's no need for all this sermon. Sonny, so do you realize you're talking to a priest? Mom, I know, I know. There's no need for all this preaching because I've made up my mind. The only thing that will make me listen to anyone now is when I am given what rightfully belongs to me. That's all. So have you gone mad or something? Have you gone crazy? Well, father, is this like this? No, calm, calm down. I... Uh, father, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, if this is what this meeting is all about, I beg to take my leave. Excuse me, Father. Excuse Sonny. me, Mother. Sonny! Sonny! Sonny, come back here! Well, uh... Father, I think something is wrong with my son. Calm, calm down. You see, this um, kind of attitude is synonymous with uh, youth growing up. I'll see what I can do, and then I'll find time to come to the house and uh, talk with him personally. Thank you, Father. Bless you. I said he wouldn't get it. I said you would do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody said, look, if he doesn't do it like that, let him do it exactly as he has done it. I mean, he did not obtain his father's permission. He was going to get married. Then after getting married, he came to the father and said, I'm sorry, I wouldn't do it again. How many times is he supposed to marry? It's just once in a life. That's right. So you see, you know, so, I mean, you know, most of the time when they do this thing, they don't really think about the consequences. But look at how he did it. Can you go into the water and catch fish without your feet being wet? What is, what is wrong with you? Um, that I, I came to get the money that I asked for. You're here for what? My 20 million dollars. <laughs> um, the last time you talked about this, I told you that uh, madness has so many colors. I'm beginning to believe that. Though. That's right. Uh, you know me very well as your father. I already told you I can't part with that kind of money. I mean, first you demanded five million. You didn't tell me what you are going to do with it. Now you want 20 million, your own share of the family's wealth. I am still alive. When I die and I write a will before then, you people can now share it according to my will. Yes, exactly. I don't see why you are in such a terrible hurry, except you want me dead before my time, so. Dad, I want my 20 million naira right now. 
my share of this family's wealth. I want it now. I've told you before, I can't give you money that way. One, you have not told me what you are going to do with the money. Two, I can't give you a share of the family fortunes when I'm still alive. Exactly. But are you, are you all right? <laughs> huh? I, I don't know the kind <laughs> of... Say to what is wrong with you? Then, that you, you leave me with no choice. Jesus! Kizito! Dad! Kizito, put that in the way! Oh, don't, don't you put that! Don't move! Stay where you are! Dad, I did not come with this gun to play with it. I am going to shoot everybody in this family. And then, I will shoot myself. If I don't get that money. If you kill everybody, you know, it's okay, it's alright. You don't need to shoot anybody. You will get the money you want, right? Don't kill anybody. By the way, if you kill everybody in the family, how do you get the money? No, no, I want the money now. I want it now. I will shoot myself. Don't move, don't move. Stay where you are. Come forward. It's alright. It's okay. It's all right. I want the money. That's all I want. Kinsley, give me my check. Give it to me. That, that. Don't kill yourself. Go and get the check. Go on. Get the check. Get the check. I'll kill myself. Right now. Get the check. I don't have time. I don't have time. Don't talk. Don't move. Don't move. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I want, I want the money. There's no time. I want the money. Where's the money? I'll kill myself right now. Funny. Funny one. Give me the check. Put it down now. Tell him to stop pointing the gun at me. I'll shoot myself. Give me the check. Don't yourself. Sign the check. Sign it, Dad. If you keep pointing the gun at me, my signature will be irregular. You won't get the money. So just wait and you take the money. What is today's date? Tell him the date! Tell him the date! 17th! 17th! Sign it! Sonny Wam! Sonny Big Money! Dad? You're giving 20 million? No, Sonny Big Money. You want to shoot your father? 20 million. You want to. You don't need to require a gun. Don't shoot yourself. Don't kill anybody. Just take it. The moment you walk out of that door with this check, you cease to be a member of this family. And I am sorry for you. Walk out of that gate and never come back here again. Go back. Put it down. Put it down. You have the money. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Let him go. I said it before, and I say it again. I'm not sure this boy is my son. Comfort, you alone know where you've got this idiot from. This kind of love does not tell you how funny. I
Congratulations, man. Congrats, my bro. Tell congrats, me congratulations. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, boy. Like the deal has been done. I know. I told you, man. I told you. What Kizito wants, Kizito gets. Straight up. Man. Nobody can stop me. Straight up. I like that. That's it's good to be free. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be free, man. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom, man. Mm. Woo. Baby, come here. Free mm. man. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Johnson, please help yourself with the drink. Oh, baby! Like mm. Hey, boy. Mm. We are now in business. Real business, man. Yeah. But, but Johnson, business should wait for now, okay? Look, it's been so stressful. And that's why I moved into the hotel. So that I can have some time to cool off, okay? Relax, have fun. Do you understand? So that my money... Oh, sorry. Sorry, point of correction. My millions, 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 my millions like cool like off a little bit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard. In that case, let's go spend some money, man. Of course, we're going to celebrate my independence. Let's I'm go. free. Let's go. <laughs> I'm free to do anything I want. Go out anytime I want. Come back anytime I want. Kiss my girl. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my lord. Anytime I want. Let's go spend some money, man. Let's hit the town. What are you saying? Straight up, man. I'm free to do whatever. Straight up, man. Let's hit the road. It's what's celebrating. Johnson, I'm free. Let's go spend money. Johnson, I'm finally free. Yeah, Johnson. At the club, there's this particular guy you discussed with at length. Who is he? Benny, my business partner. We'll be traveling together in a week's time. And I suggest you invest some money in this business. Hmm? Huh. Johnson, invest in job business. Ha! No, man. <laughs> no way. I can't. Johnson, it's too risky for me, man. What are you talking about? Look. I'd rather invest in the oil bunker business we discussed earlier. I'm okay with that. Though it's risky, but I can accommodate the risk. Job business? No way, man. Hey, boy. No way. I don't get delivered. Okay, boy, let me tell you. Life itself is a risk. Ah, but anyway. I don't like job business. Anyway, the oil bunker thing will. Be on hold for now until I get back. And if you don't mind, just invest some money in this trip. No matter how little, it pays. Johnson, I know it pays. Yeah, it pays, but physically, mentally, otherwise, I'm not ready. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. My love, why did you give him that money? You shouldn't have given him that money. Millionaire is a lot of money for you to gamble with. Gamble? Yes. Did I hear you say gamble? Yes, my love. You should have started with, say, 200,000 naira or a little less. So just in case something goes wrong, you don't lose so much. Besides, I hate it. You're right, okay? You're so right. But Johnson knows the business, he knows his roots. Okay, and I don't believe anything will go wrong. He will come back successful. My love, I hate this business. I don't like it. It's morally wrong. It kills and maims the youth. Don't you understand? That drug business is even worse than fake drugs. Baby. I'm not selling drugs. I only invested in it. I just had to invest somewhere, somehow. Not Look, I've already given him the money, so let's see how it goes. Maybe ignorance is not an excuse. I know, I know. Okay, this is the last time, alright? Okay? I 
next time I take such decision, I will consult you first. <laughs> mm? I'm sorry. All right, it's okay. Mm, so, why don't you tell me something that will make me happy, baby? Like what? Like you want to rock me right Oh, yeah. no? <laughs> you did something wrong. Okay, so what do I do to my you? Meanwhile, where are the things you went out by? And you possibly don't ask me that. Because God has finally answered your prayers. What do you mean? What happened? I left my handbag and my shopping bags inside the cab just to get a magazine. And then the cabman drove away with my things. He even went with the phone you just bought for me some days ago. Oh my God! How did it happen? No. You mean... The taxi drove away with your stuff. I don't know. <sighs> oh, Jesus. All, all this wouldn't have happened if you had listened to me when I was begging you to buy a car. I wouldn't have gone through all this embarrassment. Oh, my God. I had to beg for transport money to come back here. Oh, my love. My love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, I, I told you this. I'm not ready to buy a car now. I have other plans. I definitely need a car, but when the time is right, I'll get a car. Hmm? I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> Let the taxi go. Let him go with the stuff, okay? You're gonna get it back a thousandfold. <laughs> Alright, I'll make it up to you. Sorry. Oh, baby. <laughs> I could imagine the pains it took you to like go boring money just to come back. Taxi. There you go. Yeah, I missed you. Oh, baby, my 
baby was begging for money to come back home. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wishing that you come home and do me, do me. Mm. Mm. My love. Ooh, sugar. My love. Ooh, sugar. I, mm. Listen, I was thinking. About what? Um, yeah. Don't you think that we should rent a place or even buy a house? I feel like we're wasting the whole money. Come on, think of it, it's wide. Baby, I know, I know, right? I appreciate your concern. But I'll do all that later. Okay? No, I'll do it later. No, no, wait later. What are we waiting for? What? I know, okay? Whenever I'm ready to get a house, I will definitely get a house. I love, I know an agent that will get you a house as quick as possible. Immediately, whenever you want. Besides, we've not stayed here for so long. Meanwhile, there are guys that practically live in the hotel. You are not other guys. I love. Everything I say is for your own good. I just don't want you wasting the whole money here. Think of it. We pay 10000 every day. All right. All right. Don't worry. I'll do that. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. You have such a good heart. My day was bad. Very bad. I know that face. What is wrong? Don't worry, I don't want to put it No, don't problems. tell me that. What's wrong? Careful when I, oh, I took off my suit. I've spoken to you several times about your carelessness. What donation is it? Jesus, 100,000 naira. What donation? In 500s and, and 200s. And you're sure you left this place with the money? I'm sure I left here with the money. I was meant to do some payments today. You're very sure. It's gone, it's gone. The money is gone. It's gone. Okay, okay, okay. You're very sure you left this place with the money? 
Oh my God. This is the money. Jesus. How did you find it? That's because you never left this place with the money. It was on the bed. You forgot it on the bed. Oh, Jesus. Yes. I left it in this room. Ah, because I lost it. Oh, my really God. You have to baby. be careful with the way you handle money. Oh, baby, come here. Come here, baby. Your mom is here. Come here, baby. Hundred thousand naira. Chicken feed. Does that mean he doesn't keep substantial amounts of money in that hotel? Oh no, he wouldn't. He's got all his millions snatched away somewhere in a bank. I wish he had agreed to buy a car, rent, or better still, buy a house. That way, we would have made a lot of money off him. Oh my love, come here. I love. She really shouldn't worry that much. I mean, after all, he has agreed to open the telecommunication business I told him of. That way we could make some money. My only annoyance is the soon. My God, I hate that word and he likes that word so much. Soon, soon, soon. I prefer now, now, now. Give it to me now. And I really don't want to push him. Or else he'll begin to suspect me. I hate that word soon. Can't wait to get my hands on that money now. Juliet, hey. what if he gets to find out that you didn't use that money to rent a shop after all? What becomes of us? Oh my God! I never thought of that. Oh, I want to hold that money. Can we to hold it? So, what do we do? Oh well, it's all right. Um, not to worry. We'll definitely find a way around it. Trust me. You sure? I can move it here. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy it. I am very happy. <laughs> Harrison, uh, Juliet, your sister, told me so much about you. And uh, I want to say I sympathize with you on your parents' untimely death. Okay? Thank Take hearts. Take hearts. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I must confess it's not been easy. The good Lord has been sitting us free. That's it, you Oh, yes, I know it wouldn't be easy. But life must go on. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I must also use this opportunity to thank you for all your assistance. Um, Juliet, my sister, has been telling me everything you've been doing for her. So I, I, I just want to thank you, sir. Oh, come on. Thank you, sir. I love your sister so much. I mean, I love her so much. Since she came into my life, a lot changed about me, positively. Okay? So I, I'm really happy being with her. Uh, so, uh, Harrison. What do you do for a living? I mean, what you do to make money? Well, sir, ever since I graduated from the university, the job hunt has been very frustrating. And so I have actually resorted to traveling abroad. So there is this uh, man who is into the procurement of visas for people. He has actually procured visas for four of my friends. Uh, they're in America right now. 
So he, he's a very reliable man. He's, he's actually working on my visa. So you want to travel abroad? Yes, sir. Probably to go seek greener pastures, huh? Yes, <laughs> Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, sir. My love. Really? Since our parents died. <laughs> oh, baby, come on. Cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, it's all in the past. Don't cry. I'm here. Talk to me. Ever since our parents died, besides you, Harrison is all I have left now. I want to ask you for a favor. Go on, baby. Anything. I was thinking. Don't you think we should give Harrison the money for the telecommunication business you promised me so that he can start the completion of the processing the visa? Baby, I'd be so grateful. Please. Um, baby, that is not a bad idea, but what about you? I mean, what happens to the business? Harrison is all I have now. And whatever you do for him, you've done for me. Harrison. Um, how much is involved in this visa arrangement? Uh, well, sir, um, the, the man said he will collect 500,000 naira for the procurement of the visa. Okay. And uh, my ticket and uh, BTA and um, other few things I would need to do. I, I have decided to sum to 300,000 naira, um, making it 800,000 naira, sir. Hmm. 800,000 naira. Um, Harrison. You see, these days, when it comes to visa arrangement, there are a lot of dupes out there. Are you sure you're not dealing with a dupe? No, sir. This, this man is not like that, sir. This, I, I, I trust him. He's, he's a very reliable man. I, I just told you he has done for four of my friends who are now in America. Uh, look, I love Juliet so much. I mean... She means the world to me. And it's so clear that her happiness lies in your happiness. So. I'll give you the money. Ah! You will give me the money? Yes, I will. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Thank you, sir. I'm so very grateful, sir. No, it's okay. 800,000 naira. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, sir. You don't have to kneel for me. May God bless you, sir. No, don't kneel. I'm not Thank you, sir. Stand up, stand up. May God bless you, sir. Stand up, stand up. 800,000 naira. Okay. How can I thank you, sir? I love you so much. Just stand up. It's okay. Come on. Thank you, sir. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm so grateful, sir. I love you. I love you too. Anything for Juliet? <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, well, I thought about it, and uh, I'm going to add uh, fifty thousand naira to eight hundred thousand. Oh my God, baby, that's too Making it eight fifty. You can use that to, you know, pick up some fuel. <laughs> that's not a fence. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, God. Oh, no. What have I got to deserve this, sir? Me. No, oh, God. No. Thank you, sir. I'm so grateful. He's still our son. No matter what he has done, no, let's go and search for him. We don't even know if he's alive or dead. I think you're mad. You have now convinced me that you are mad. You were here when that idiot pointed a gun at me, my own son, demanding 20 million, wanting a separate existence. Wanting to be independent, right? He got the money. He walked away. The day he left this house, I told you that he had ceased to be my son. Didn't I say that? And you were expecting me to go out to look for a vagabond. 
take your time, come forward. Man. Must have been influenced by his friends. Naibiko, you have to forgive him. Please. Now I know why our people say that only a woman knows who the father of her child is. I doubt very much whether I fathered Nay. And I mean every word of what I am saying. Hey. Such rascally blood does not run in our family. I don't know where you got that idiot from. I don't know. I just don't know. Nay. Is it because the devil has entered our soul? Is that why you're saying all this to me? Now you married me a young girl. Can you say such a thing? Good evening, Dad. Hello, son. How was the office? Good evening. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Mom, are you alright? I'm fine. No, you're not. Yourself while he's enjoying himself somewhere, mm. probably making more money than we are. Listen, there is absolutely nothing to worry about when you have all of us around you. Yeah. Okay? Come on, Mom, cheer up. All right? So, how did it go today? Oh, beautiful, Dad. I sealed the deal today with uh, Chief O'Coli and Sons. They paid him four million naira today. They did? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Go in and grab yourself a very cool oh, bottle of beer. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I know he's <laughs> <it's> fine. <laughs> yes, sir. What a bottle of beer about an idiot. My big My big Boy, this business is sweet. This business is good. I can't believe this. You mean I invested one million naira and I made two point five million naira profits? This is too big, man. Business is this profitable? <laughs> you know what I told you earlier on? This business is good. Oh, yeah. Now you know why I can never stop this business. Now I, I don't know. care the risks involved. I don't care. Look, Johnson, risk or no risk, I'm investing real money next time. <laughs> the next trip you'll be going, I'm going to invest. So much. Think about it. I invested just a little. And I'm making so much. Then what happens when I invest so much? Oh Jesus, I'm going to make... I don't know how to describe the amount of money that I'm going to make. This is great. Man. Uh, let's drink to this. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> you know... You're beginning to sound like you have the heart for this business. Brother. I like that. Oh yeah, Johnson. I, like I have a heart for any kind of business that is this profitable. What are you saying? Brother, give me the hook. Give me the bait. Show me the goddamn fish. Okay, I'll fish it. it. I'll make, make the money. money. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> But for now, man, you're the king. And I know with time you're going to teach me the nitty gritty, but let's just keep doing it this way. You know, I invest, you do the goal and make the money, the profit. For real, I'm, I'm okay like this. But at least let's start with the party in this house. <laughs> Whew, let's spend some money, man. Let's, let's do some touchy, 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 you know, groovy, groovy. <laughs> I was wondering, why don't we do the groove here? got a point. In other words, 
It's gonna be the groove. I'm telling you. Brother, this is the venue. This is the place. That's what this it's all night. About, man. We're That's gonna what it's rock, all about. man. We're rock the place. We're rock this place. <laughs> man, there's money, man. There's, there's money to, to rock everybody, man. To group this party. Brother, Hello. call up all the street girls, man. All the hot chicks. Let's do some. And afterwards, you can join me here. I mean, it, it doesn't make much sense spending all that money in a hotel. You can come down here, right? Yeah, you've, you've got a point, you know? Because, sir. Uh, Juliet actually advised me to rent a house or possibly buy one instead of wasting a lot of money on hotel, hotel bills yeah. and, you know, and I'm beginning to think about that. So you mean I can move into your place? Straight up. Money. Women. Women. Bro, straight up, man. You <laughs> the man. Money. Women. Just like this. <laughs> Just like rest up, baby. <laughs> man, let's let's do a better cheers, man. Brother. amount of money we've made from him and let things be. What are you talking about? Make do with a paltry sum of 850,000 naira? No! Not me, Carol. Not Harrison. Harrison. What other plans do you have up in your head? What else do you want us to do? Okay, okay. What plans do you have now? Uh, it's going to be very bloody. Very, very Where's that rascal who lives here?
Look at him. That idiot who came with the girl into my house smoking. He didn't stop there. He converted the entire company into a dancing hall. That's it. Good day. Can I help you? Where is my son? Please. Where is Sonny? Don't say please to him. You don't owe him any obligation. Right? This man does nothing but move around creating problems for people. Now listen, if you do not produce my son in the next five minutes, this place will be swarming with policemen. And I tell you one more thing, you'll be arrested for kidnapping. You heard me. Chief, I've not seen Kizito since that day I came to your house. Mm, all right. I'm actually upset with him because of the way you embarrassed me. You mean you have not seen Sonny Mwam? Of course, he will say he hasn't seen him. Hey. This man does nothing but carry women around the town, smoking Indian hemp. He does nothing else. Look, if you don't give me my son... Let me make one thing clear to you, sir. I don't owe you any apologies whatsoever. If I move with all the girls in this city, drink all the brandy I like and smoke till I die. Fiapa. And I will run it. Yeah. And one more thing, sir. Kizito is a grown-up man. Stop meddling with his life. Because if anything happens to him, you will be held responsible. Good day, sir. Oh, my God. Baby, I'm in trouble. 
Juliet. Juliet, where are you? What is it? I'm so sorry. It's... Why are you crying? <laughs> Talk to me, Juliet. Uh, uh... Hello? Hello, Mr. Kizito. You are holding your girl hostage. And it will cost you two million naira if you want to see her life again. Who are you? This is not a question and answer session, Mr. Kizito. Now listen and listen for the word. You have 24 hours to bring the money to an address I will give you later. Look, my, my friend, you don't know what you're talking about. What is all this? Huh? What do you expect me to get 2 million naira from? Look, if this is a joke, you better stop it. You don't know who you're messing with. Then get ready to receive her body parts piece by piece by this time tomorrow. And let me warn you, Mr. Kizito. She will be dead the moment you get the police involved. I'll call you later. Oh my God. Hello? Look, hello? Hello? Honey, honey, please, you have to help me. They want to kill me. Hello, Juliet. Juliet. Oh, hello, honey. They want me dead. They want to kill me. Please, you have to kill me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was a very good one. Thank you very much. Two million naira. Is it done mm. <laughs> <laughs> See you now, yeah. Keep coming. Come in, yes. Okay, stop. Don't move. Because you are directly under our shot. Your shot? Yeah. What do you mean by that? My three guys are watching you right now. If you make any mistake, you will be shot. Look, you, you, you don't have to shoot me. I, I have the money you asked for, and I'm here to get my girl, Juliet. I did not involve the police. I'm here alone. Keep moving. I should move forward. Keep moving. Okay, start coming. Move, move forward. Yes, keep moving. I'm moving. Okay, I'm moving. Where am I going to? Stop there. Stop there. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here. And drop the bag. I should drop the bag? Yes, drop it now. So where is Juliet? Huh? This is not what we bargained. You said once I bring the money, I will get my girl back. But I can't see her. That's exactly what I've done. But, but, but... Okay, 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 okay. I, I'll, I'll drop the bag. Where? On the road? Come on, move. So, I, I hope you're not playing games now. 
go back to your house, you'll meet her at the gate. I want to see my girl. I've given you what you want and... and... Okay, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> Handled. Oh God! Just oh a little God. bit, but my love, I'm so sorry. Okay. I didn't know who to call. It's okay. It's okay. I no, they just wanted money, and I gave it to them. Two million. It's okay. You what? How could you give them two million there? I had no choice. Should I have left them to kill you? Oh my love, you could have at least begged them or, or negotiated with them. How could you just give them two million? Million, baby, baby, bulk. come on. No money is what you love. My love, I really don't want you spending money that way. It's money. I'm glad you're back in one piece. I'm so sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Come, let's go inside and talk about oh, this. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm glad you came back. Did you see five boys? Yes. They were under it, they were going to war. I was so scared. I thought they wanted to kill me. I mean, everywhere I was so afraid. I thought I thought I was already dead. Baby. Yes. I suspect your father. My father? Yes. How can you say that? No, 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 no. It's not possible. My, my father or any member of my family cannot do a thing like this. It's not possible. It, it's possible, my love. It's possible. Maybe they want to collect the money they gave to you through that means. Anything is possible. <sighs> Juliet, you don't know my father or any member of my family more than me. Listen. My father is tough. And disciplined. But not dubious! Oh no, not dubious! Alright. Uh, you say so? Baby. Baby, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry about all this. I was scared. So scared. I was so afraid. It's okay. I thought I was dead. They were all over. It's Just so pushing me and asking me to make the call. Thank God they didn't hurt you. It's okay. Hey, don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry, honey. Don't cry. It's okay. My love. Baby. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. 
Go on. I, I think we should vacate this place as soon as possible. Why? I overheard the kidnappers talk about how they were going to attack you again. Yes, I heard them say that. Huh? Attack me? Yes. Why? Probably to get some more money from you. My love, come here. I love you. I love you so very much. I don't want anything to happen to you. Because you're all I've got. Harrison, my brother, has not called me since he traveled. I'm so scared. I just want you to be safe. Who is sending them? And, and how did they get to find out about me? Do you by chance know any of them? Me? Oh, my love. How can you say that? Are you sure? That's not possible. Baby, I was the one that was kidnapped and malhandled. How could you even think that? From, from what they said, I suspect that they've been following us even before we went to the hotel. And until now, my love, they are planning to attack you again. I think we should be a, a step ahead of them. Let's move out of here before they harm us. Hey. I'm so sure they are still monitoring us. Hey. Hey, in, in that case, there is no hiding place. They would definitely trace us anywhere we want to. Oh, no. No. The city is big enough to hide from someone. It's big enough. I'm scared. But I've not stepped on anyone's toes. I've not... Oh, come here. Don't look like that. Come here. agreed on three years rent but the agreement and other sundry charges are ridiculous you really have to come down a little see too much. agent look we love the house it's it's a wonderful house spectacular house no doubt okay but you should not slaughter us for that now eh? wow. 2.2 million is not easy to come by it's too much look, i don't know how to explain you see look so many people have come for that particular place. You see, it's because I like your face, I like your people. Because I don't want anybody that will come and give us problem here. So that is why I want to give you. So many people have been coming for this place. Niger hard though. Nigeria is hard. Yeah, we know Nigeria is hard, but we too have to survive. As I told you, now, cost of building material, this is not easy. We are finding things difficult ourselves. We know, but the charges are just too high. I mean, just mm -hmm. help us by coming down a little. We, we really like the place. We just want to, I just want, I feel I, I just want to give it to you. I just want to let it out to you. Think about it. And that is the last I can go. Hmm? I've tried. Sir, imagine that I'm your own son. I mean, would you let me pay this much for a house rent? Uh, eh? well, well, or is it because I, I'm, I'm looking for a dupe? I have been managing this house for the past four years. And I know what it is. I know what it takes. We have families. Eh? Please, that is just... I advise you, I don't want you to miss that place. All right, we'll take the house. Uh, I will come and pay next tomorrow. Next tomorrow? Yes. Uh, please, you have to do something very, very fast. No, I will. Please. I will, I will surely. You know, so many people are really pressurizing me on. Can't you come tomorrow? Can't you make it tomorrow? 
Don't worry, I'll come and bring the money next tomorrow. Two days time? Yes. What time are you going to come? Um, by, uh, by midday. Uh, but please, the earlier the better. Because people have been disturbing me. Eh? And I don't want to disappoint you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. So, 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 you know, you know what it looks like. Yeah. You know, business here and there. I know, I know. No. Yeah, you know how it is. Everybody needs money. <laughs> For real. Yeah. So, um, how is life? Tell me, what about Johnson? When is he coming back? Oh, Johnson. Uh, I'm expecting him next week. Next week? Guess what? What? Guess. What? I'm leaving his house soon. What? Why? I've paid for a duplex. You paid for a duplex? Yes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to hold this bit of a line. Hold it tight, bro. <laughs> oh, yes, wow, brother. man, I'm just happy for you for that. My brother. You know, I keep... Oh. You need a heart for this. You know, I keep, oh, you know, yeah. I keep saying it, Tizzy. There is nothing so bad about a man not having his own privacy. Oh, you can say that again. You see, when you have your privacy, you have everything for yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. And you stay more focused. Huh? Don't tell me you're about getting married. Of course. That's the next level. I've got a good house. I've got a car. Oh, good, I've got a good man. woman, too. Pretty well. So tell me, man. You said uh, you were in Abuja running around for business here and there, but you've not told me what business exactly. Oh, it's so, so inquisitive about business. Maybe I might want to invest. <laughs> tell me, what is it? You, business, business, business. Money, 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 brother. So let me get you a drink first. What would you like to take? Oh, uh... Brandy. You, Brandy? Of course, Brandy, man. <laughs> Come on, let's go have a drink. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Francis, I hope you were not mixing pleasure with business in Abuja. Mixing pleasure? You thought you liked it. Is it though? <laughs> What's wrong with you, huh? To me, what's the problem here? What's happening? You were duped. Duped? Hey! My God! My God, my God! Two point two million. What? <laughs> duped? How? We wanted to go and rent a place. So? Then they duped us. My God. <laughs> Just like that? <laughs> I feel so bad. <sighs> 
Good evening, viewers. My name is Tina Joshua. This is the news in brief. The National Anti-Drug Agency is not relenting on its effort to rid this country of drug peddlers. In one of its swift moves, two young men, Mr. Johnson Daniel and Malik Roy, were apprehended at the international airport last night. What? Johnson? Oh my God, it's not true. Oh my god. I know it's not true. Come and see for yourself. Oh Come and see that. What? Oh what? What? Oh my god. Eh? Reacting to the incident, the Minister of Youth and Social Development has frowned at the gross derailing of our youth and has called for a total reorientation. Oh my god. Oh my god. My 10 million. Your what? My 10 million. Get it.
senses, I... I don't want to believe that... that Juliet ran away with my jeep. Maybe, maybe something happened when I, I, I ran inside to pick up this bag. I believe so. Something like what? See, you, you guys were meant to be here together. Now she's not here. You've called her phone. It's switched off. Don't you think something is fishing somewhere? Come see. This girl is setting you up and it's worked for her. Francis, my 10 million naira that I gave to Johnson, gone. God. My 2.2 million for my house rent, gone. <sighs> my 2.2 million for my Jeep. Happening to me, huh? Why am I losing everything? Everything? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! It's not happening. Uh -uh. It's not. Lucio, go, go! Hello, baby. It's me, Juliet. Where are you? Where are you? What is going on? Why don't you pick my calls? Huh? Why did you leave me at Johnson's place? Where is my jeep? Okay, okay, okay. Which one do I answer first? And you better start answering those questions right now! Calm down. You worry too much. Okay, okay. I'm calm. I am, I am, I am so calm. Where is my jeep? Where the hell are you? You have to forget everything about me. Because right now, I am very, very far away from you. What do you mean by that? Am I speaking French or Arabic? I said you have to forget everything about me. You have to forget that our paths ever crossed. Okay? Oh. Uh. Juliet, you feel I'm the type of guy that you can toy with in this town? Huh? Listen, girl, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm coming after you. I'm gonna track you down with the police. No matter where you are, if you like, you run into the rat hole. I'll track you down. I swear I'll track you down. Hey, Kizito. <laughs> this is Harrison speaking. Juliet's former brother. Now the boyfriend. So the both of you have been duping me all this while. I swear I am going to... Don't threaten us. Okay? Don't threaten us. We know where you are right now. And the drug agency will be far too glad to have you roasted for dinner. And Johnson by now should be at the verge of letting the cast out of the bag. Now, here's a piece of advice for you. You have to be very, very careful with that little money you have left in your hand. <laughs> well, what did she say? What, what did she say? Tell me. She has been duping me! What? The 
guy, the, the, the guy that she said is her brother, is, is actually her boyfriend. Agent. Yes. Hey! I'm finished. My car. My money. I'm finished. Hey! I'm finished. Hey! You have to relax. Hey! 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 Disappeared with? Is it the two million naira that I paid to those that kidnapped Juliet? Which I am so sure that it was a setup. Or, or is it the 850,000 that I spent on her so called brother who happens to be her boyfriend? Where do I start? Where will I start? What do I have left? How much do I have left? Very bad. I don't know Juliet was this bad. Yes! She's bad! Juliet is very bad! Juliet is bad! I'm sorry. Do you know how much I lost to her? Is it Do you? I'm sorry. Over 8 million now? I'm very sorry. Huh? Where's your friend? Where's your friend? I'm sorry. been so unfair to me Life has treated me with so much unkindness But deep in my heart I do believe My 
is there to do but to think. Look, you, you have to forget about the past and move ahead. Take a positive step. How? Who do I start from? How? With what? I'm, I'm so confused. I'm, I'm so demoralized. I've never been this confused in my entire life. I feel like, like my whole world is crumbling under my feet. Just calm down. Look, all hope is now lost. You can still make it. There is this business I've been pursuing at the wharf, and I want you to be part of it. Francis, I'm not interested in any business. I can't. I... <sighs> Look. This business is very lucrative. It will help you bounce back to life. What, what, what kind of business is that? You see, it's a container auction business where the government auctions overtime cargoes. You know, you, 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 you get these containers at a very low rate and you make very high profits. So, how much is involved in this business. Look, they are categorized. We have the 20 feet containers. The goods are worth over 10 million. While the 40 feet container, the goods are worth over 16 million. And you actually get these goods at the auction of 2.5 for the 20 feet container and 4.5 for the 40 feet container. Francis, this, this sounds like fraud. No, 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 this is, this is not fraud. Look, look, look. I know what you're, what you're passing through now. And I can let you go into fraud. This is a genuine business. And it will help you bounce back to life. <laughs> Listen, Francis, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I, I don't want to make any mistake again. Look. What I have left in this entire world, in this universe, is 4.7 million. And I can't risk it in, in any business that I'm not so sure of. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I'll just have to think about it. Do think about it. Huh? Here we have the customs duty receipt. And also we also have here the documents in respect to the containers. This is yours and this is mine. You can see we're on course. We're progressing. You see, in two weeks' time, our containers will be out. 
And we have 16 million for ourselves. In two weeks time. Yeah. Francis, it better be. I can't wait to lay my hands on those goods. And you know it. You don't have to worry. In two weeks time, you bounce back. I pray so. I just pray so. Come on. I pray so. That reminds me, there's something else. We need a hundred thousand naira each to settle one other officer. A hundred what? A hundred thousand naira. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Hey Francis, I already gave you 4.5 million naira. And you know that all I have left is 200,000. I know, but you see, you need this. We need to get a hundred thousand naira. So that in the next two weeks, our goods be out. And you have 16 million naira each. What are you saying? I thought we were done with the payments. You know, I know sometimes it happens. But you know, when you pay this 100,000 naira, you're not paying anything again. Then in two weeks' time, our goods will be ready. All right, fine. No problem. I, I, I'll give you the money. But I just hope that this is the last payment. Because I'm not bringing out a dime again. No, 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 no. Of course, you know there's nothing left to bring. Francis. Okay, no problem. No worry. I'll bring the money. Bring the money. I can't believe this, Harrison. His daughter and I went to buy that jeep for 2.2 million naira. How can you tell me you sold it for just 800,000 naira? Do you take it for a baby? Did you think I'm lying? You know as much as I do that that jeep does not belong to us. And it was absolutely impossible to sell it at the right price. I, I, I just had to let it go as quickly as possible. You had to let it go without informing me? Why didn't you tell me about it before you let it go? Huh? Why? Juliet, I have always been the one to make all the decisions around here. I, 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 I just felt it wasn't necessary telling you. Meanwhile, why, why are you getting all worked up about this? Because obviously you don't know how bad it feels to stay and sleep with a man you don't love for months. Why didn't you get your sister to do the dirty work? Leave my sister out of this. Really? I have told you the situation and it stays like that. Of course it will stay like that. You know, I always knew you had something up your sleeves. I did know. Christ, what was I thinking? By the way, how much did you give to Bruno? I am talking to you. 500,000 naira. I settled it immediately. Yeah. Obviously. So where is the balance of about 4.5 million naira? 4.5 million naira. I gave it to an important friend of mine who went to Hong Kong on a business trip. And, um, we're going to get the money as soon as it comes back. No shaking. I don't care, Harrison. All I want is my own share of the money. And I am not going to let you out of my sight until I see that money. That is whether you like it or not. Christ. I should have known. Hello? Yes? What? 50,000 naira? Where could I? But that was not what we discussed earlier. No, 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 listen, listen. I can't skip pay. Okay, when? Next weekend. You're sure next weekend the containers will be ready? Okay, you are sure? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll try to get the money tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. That was the agent. He's asking for another 50,000 naira. Okay. 50 
what? 50,000 naira. 50 what? Huh? Listen, I am not giving anyone my one naira again. What are you talking about? Francis, you know that all I have in this whole wide world is 100,000. And you are demanding that I bring another 50,000? You are joking. Listen, I am not bringing any money. And that's final. Kizito, listen, I know. But listen, this, this deal is about to mature. Just next weekend, and we'll make our 16 million. Even if we will make 16 zillion naira, I am not bringing a dime again. Oh and I better not hear stories on those containers. See, don't just back up so easily. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. I'll try. Even if I, I don't have money, but I'll, I'll raise money and I'll settle it. Yeah. 10,000, 20,000. 50,000. Yes, bring him one. The job coming. So I'm doing my best, Daddy, to work on your old ideas. Well, you succeed. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the new challenges you have? Oh yes, Daddy, there are these new drugs. Uh, my foreign counterparts. Uh, they want me to import some new drugs, mm. and uh, these drugs, I bet you, they are very, very good. So I was only trying to seek your opinion before okay. going ahead. Okay. The drugs are for arthritis, mm. malaria, parasites. Uh, breast enhancement drugs and uh, rejuvenating drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, Hypertensis as well. Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's play down the beat on breast enhancement, you know, so that we don't uh, encourage sexual rascality. But you talked about malaria, right? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. The malaria parasites now have become resistant to all the drugs we've been using. You're right, Daddy. So if these ones are specially prepared for the tropics, then we need you know, them. They are for the tropics. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. good. We need them. Yeah. We need them. And, and we are going to be the sole distributor in West Africa. Good. So I think we're going to make a lot of money. For good. Uh, do you have anything on? Hepatitis? They are all included, Daddy. As a matter of fact, I'm having a meeting with them today by 12.30. Mm, yes. They are going to give me the whole samples of the drug. Mm -hmm. And uh, by 1.30, I'm going to have another meeting with another company. Mm -hmm. Then 5.30 p.m., mm -hmm. I'll still have another meeting. Uh, how are you going to cope with all this? Hmm? You see? If that your recalcitrant brother we are here, he probably would have been part of the second meeting, but the devil got the better part of him. Um, it's all right. Get the assistant general manager to attend the second meeting. So you'll be at the first meeting and at the third meeting. So that when you go in for the third meeting, you will still be fresh. Otherwise, um, if you try attending three of them, you'll be thoroughly sapped before you get in, and the results will not be very encouraging. You'll, be in a, you'll not be in a position to debate, you know. <laughs> so ensure that you attend the first and the third. I know that because of excessive indulgence in alcohol and a few other debilitating passions, most of the men are beginning to lose their virility. Next time around, get drugs along that line. Hmm? Okay, then. We'll make money from there. <laughs> but, uh, I'm proud of you. All right, I just said to drop by. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah,
Where are you going? I'm going for a fellowship. <laughs> this is your fellowship, sir. You want on to pastor, I'll be waiting. Glory be to God if it happens. That reminds me, Bruno. Have you heard what happened to Juliet and Harrison? Those guys, they are cheats. If you see what those guys did to me, they gave me 100,000 naira out of all the money we collected from that guy. I beg, I don't want to talk about them, Jare. They died yesterday evening. Which kind of joke with this? I will they joke with death like that. Bruno, I'm not joking. I saw their dead bodies near the railway station yesterday. The Tazi the bodied got trapped while the train was coming and the driver ran away. Do you see the way they died? You mean they are dead just like that? Without them even enjoying the money they duped for that innocent boy. So you see, my brother, it could be you. It could be me. You never can tell. Why not come to the fellowship? You see, the Bible says, Come unto me, you don't need a labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come with me to the fellowship. I hear the word of God. And I have some rest. Look, look, it's not my fault, it eh? It is my fault! Because I knew it! I knew it! When you were telling me all those, all those tackles about the uh, government auction and nonsense, I knew it was all fraud! It's just that the Federal Government cancelled the auction sale. Why should they cancel it at my own time? Francis, are you part of this? Look, is it... Are you... Francis, I need my money! Francis, give me my money! Give me, give me my money! Greetings. Oh! This one took my money! Oh, come on, help me! Francis! Oh God! I want my money! I want my money! Oh God! Oh my God! Oh God! Oh my God! my life for the best thing is just to kill myself i don't deserve to leave i don't kizito don't talk like that how else do you want me to talk what else do you want me to say <laughs> look i have to go back there and recover some of this money we, we, we can't just lose everything just like that. Hmm? Francis, do you know what is 4.6 million? Huh? 
Francis, you told me that the actual worth of the goods in the container was 400,000 and the rest of the money was meant for settlement. Why can't we recover the money we used in settling them? Why? Because he told the money is gone. That money is gone and we can't even take them to court. Because the transaction was illegal. Oh! Francis, you finished me. I knew it. Deep down on me, I was smelling foul play. But I didn't just listen to myself. I did it. I did it. I've always been a fool. I've always been a fool. I have never seen a fool like me in this earth. I'm a fool. Yes, that's what I am. That's what I am. I'm finished. Hey, I'm even in a very terrible situation that we do. Out of the 4.7 million. I put into that business. I borrowed 3.5 million from people. Oh. How am I going to raise that money again? Hey, the worst of it all is that my house rent will expire next month. Yo. It's time to die. Francis, kill me. Kill me now. Because if I sleep, I will not wake up again. Kill me, Francis. Kill me. Sorry to disturb you. I'm, I'm looking for one Mr. Paulinus that lives here. Well, I'm Mr. Paulinus. You Paulinus? So how can I be of help to you? It's my pleasure, sir. My pleasure. My pleasure. A, a friend of mine gave me your house address, yeah. and I decided to come and see you, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, yes. Sir, can we go in and talk? No, there's no time. Okay. I'm running out of time. So if there's anything you want to say, just say it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir. Um. I was, um, I was told that you help people. I understand, I understand. You see, I will have explained everything, but as you can see, I'm on my way out now, okay? There are about 15 boys waiting for me at the border right now. 15 boys? Yeah, 15 boys, that's what I do, okay? Because in the next two weeks, they will all be in different European countries. You understand now? So I don't I have all the time to explain everything to you. Uh, okay, sir, um... Since you're traveling, what will I do? Because I, I came for, for you to help me through the same process. <sighs> that is the problem, right? Um, what's going to happen? Okay? You just give to me 85,000 naira so that I'll start processing your document while on transit. No, see, don't be sad. You know what? It will make it easier for me and faster too. Okay? Uh, but there are two options. Uh, one, either you go and come back in three weeks' time, or you wait in my house until I come back. Any? Uh, sir, I think I'll wait till you come back. you wait? Yes, sir. You think you'll be patient enough? I will, I will. I'll wait. I'll wait. This is just three weeks. I'll wait. It's no problem. Let me call. Can I take you? All right? God bless. God bless. Yeah, hello? 
Yeah, this is Paul Linus. It's Osaze there. Um, please tell Andrew or Osaze that I have a visitor in my house right now. Okay? That if they come back, let them take him in. You should make him comfortable until I come back. Okay? Please, don't forget. Thank you. Um, as you can see, you wait here. Okay. Someone will just come and take you. All right, be patient, please. I'll wait. I don't have time. I will talk to you. I'll wait. Okay, I'll wait, sir. Be patient, sir. Yeah. Safe journey. Don't no worry. Safe journey. I'll be back. Remember that. not even ask me to give him a dime. I'd rather wait here till he returns than give him my money. I am not ready for any more stories. My brother. Hmm. <laughs> now my story, oh. I saw it take happen to me. Oh. Fire born. He finished everything waiting for my shop. Everything that I have labored for. For almost six years. All the things were done they save. Everything. Every of my belongings. Every of my goods. You know, sell me where they trade now. They get some kind of money where they put for safe. My brother, I had like two million naira in that safe. My bill of lading of my container will still be for C. The original documents of my bill of lading container were never clear. Where I keep for shop. So that I go give clearing agents, my brother, everything. Phew. Well, may I tell you one thing? You're a man. My brother suffer the same thing, my cousin. He won't be say every day. Now so you're gonna cry, they shout, I see him be madman. But after everything, he still can't die. For heart attack. But thank God, see you now, see they shine. Nothing happened to you, no for sick. Make you thank God, though. Ah, but I cannot die because of that. Eh, you know, that kind of thing, no, if you kill me now. See, my friend always tells me that the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Do you understand? My brother. There is hope. My brother, you're welcome to the jungle, though. This place is not jungle. Well, I say, say, make you wait. Wait, till in return, do your runs, make your money, full on what kind of bad? I beg my ass, and you, you know say when I don't take this house before I come now. As soon as they hear, when I notice say, I've been a true, say, Oga Paulinus, the move boys, through road, go Europe. You can't question be that one. Now in job be that, now thing they do, now they take the chop. Yeah. Every two weeks, three weeks, they come out, now what be that? Me say, I could not go Europe since. And because other polymers travel one time, ah. go stay almost uh, six, seven, eight months. You know, come back quick. My brother, I chop all the money. Pew! I make a day in this condition. But I see the hustle. They try to make money as we go back. I tell you, say, soon I go enter Europe, marry one of you, hold and tight. All of us will reach there. Oh, go reach. Osaze, we will just play this card. We will take them. Use uh, and they, they, they step down. Bros, go. My brother, go keep your bag now. This bag, every time they carry them, like say, na, na your wife, they carry. Keep them, make we play what? My bag. Go keep them. No, I don't. I don't trust these guys. Anything can happen. They will steal my money if I am not careful. Oh my God. What will I do? Alright. I will hold my bag like this till morning. I will not sleep. Yes. I will rush down to the nearest bank in the morning and deposit the money. Until Paulinus comes back. That's the solution. Is it 
Are you going with your bag? Uh, no, I'm not coming with you guys. I, I, I just want to stroll around the area, you know, master the environment. Okay. See you later, eh? Okay. We're gonna walk well, though. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. Okay. Please, uh, do, do you know whether there is any bank around this neighborhood? Any bank? Yes, any yeah. bank. When you go down here now, go by your right hand, then you turn again. You will see a bank somewhere there. So I have to go to the extreme? Yeah, yeah. yeah. From there then you I go to my to right. right. Then, then the left again. Left again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Without. You don't really see my barretta. I still can't dig down for whatever. Okay. You get here. No, nothing. Tidy up. My clothes, please. I want them. Tidy up. You don't need them. My clothes. I want them. Tidy up. Okay. My clothes. No, 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 no. My clothes. Okay. I face there. I face. Just to make it easy. I said, enjoy myself now. We tell you, say, make you follow us, Congo walk in the morning. You know, Gris, say one Congo stroll. Now, one can't eat the food. And you stroll, enter, arm rub our hands. All of us sleep here together. You know, you know how to say, where if you see bank? You know, if you say home money. Can you imagine? 100,000 naira. Oh, but you get hurt, though. <laughs> Go here and today. I was only playing safe. Mmm. In the place of Abby, no problem. We we'll save the place with our food. Yeah? Since morning. Go go here and today. I beg. What's that? I 
I shall be you. Ah. I beg, make her just stop. So say, now because of you, I won't this food. Though. I just eat small. No, you time no plenty. Just eat small. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So I come inside this house. I don't chop, 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 so that I don't get belly. I'm not sure I'm feature this food. Chicken, I want for you. We did this kind of place. Then they give us food, they do us well. You know, even happy. You know, not so many people they look for this kind of thing, they know see. But you know, we say you go enjoy now, chop, 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 enjoy, so they go, you go come be obesity. Ah, bros, 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 bros. Good job, man. It's okay. I hope Join you guys are enjoying yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Full of job. You want something? Ah, huh? Ah, bros. Where the one we enter? Where the one we enter, bros? Yeah, yeah. Come on, show me something. I'm fine. How is the family? Yeah, I'm fine. Man. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Uh, Madam, I want bread. Uh, this one, 50. This one, uh, 89. Yeah. Okay, give me the one for 50 naira. Uh, 50 naira. Where the world comes from me, and do I turn to Uh, Madam, you know what happened, eh? I will bring the money for you in the night. Uh, when my brother comes back. When your brother comes in the night, you will bring. I didn't give him my money. Ma Madam, no, no first, no first. Madam, I don't get money as I day here, so. But my brother go work since morning. I mean, you know, drop money for a job for me. So if you come back for night, I go personally bring the money, come back for you, madam. I beg. Are they hungry? So, you look me finish. I'll be like Father Christmas. No, madam, no, no talk like that. Uh, madam, see, since yesterday I never chop. What do you gonna consign me if you never eat? What do you consign me if you never eat? Madam, I beg. I go give you this money. I go carry and call your shop, come give you. Once, ma see, madam, I'll be your neighbor. I be Paulinus house. Eh? Can I see? Is it? Uh, Madam, Pauline is house. You know I'm now. Mm. They go come back. See, let me tell you. All the people in that compound, all of them will come here by. They will go. They will travel self. When they come, I don't even see them. No more of them will don't come pay me. So anybody from that house, I don't even want to hear them because I will not give. So please, if you are from that house, just go. Madam, I'm not like that. I, I know I know they like that. Me, I go bring the money. Go, I beg you. I'm not going to sell. Go. Leave me alone. What have I done to myself? Where do I go from here? All of you will come. What come and buy. Go. Buy. Go. No more of you will come and pay me. Now you don't carry your wallet. Come now. Now I give you bread. Never eat for from this house. I beg, I don't want here. They go jump.
Suffering like this. I can't. This is too much. No food. No money. How do I survive? I'll go home. I'll go home. But. But. There's no time. I want the money. Where's the money? I'll kill myself right now! you walk out of that door with this check, you cease to be a member of this family. I can't go back. I can't go back home. I can't. Not like this. I mean... Not like this. I can't go back. I just have to endure and survive till I travel. Do I? 
Small, small daily money. Now, if you if you take this money, my guy, shall I know I still day here? Only here be the place where they make my living. I put a new. Okay, 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 okay. If you want my one, no. You the link people job. They are not sure say go fit do that job. No go fit. Hey. Yeah. I don't know. Which, which kind of job is that? You will be a jibola, I know like this way, if you walk this one, I will walk that one. You know go feed one. You know go feed. Ah! You know what you happen? It be like say we go go see the walk. After work, I go wait for you make the clothes walk. No, go see the man. You sure say go feed you that job? No. I know, I don't know. When I, when I go there, I feel no. But as I come here now, now I don't check this one. Since I know feed one. If you talk so. Uh, shop now, shop. No, shop. Shop, bro. Shop now. I food. Thank you. The food they fear you. <laughs> no, I, I don't agree with you, man. I'm not sure the Brazilians are going to get it this time. In fact, I don't think so. I think another country will because they've been too lucky. Uh, uh -huh. By the way, you have not even briefed me on that new project of ours. How is it coming? Oh, sorry, Dad, I forgot. The project is going on well as suspected. As a matter of fact, I was there today with uh, Mr. Smith. And he's happy about the progress so far. Good. Keep it up. Uh -huh. I may be wrong, but I think your birthday is coming up this week, right? On Sunday, Dad. Uh -huh. Sunday. Good. Means I still have a good head. Um, <laughs> how do you plan to celebrate it? Um, that I'm thinking of inviting one or two friends. You know, inviting friends in a house, have party around, catch fun. Uh -uh. Uh, you know, I am very averse to boys. I, I wouldn't like people stomping all over the place and um, creating some commotion generally. Now, I was thinking we could make it a quiet Thanksgiving affair, you know, keep it within the family. Maybe just uh, invite a Reverend Father over to come and pray for the family, and you know, uh, so we can just make it quiet. So God, in spite of everything, has been very kind to this family, right. and I'd like us to show him some appreciation. Dad, if you say so, I mean. It's all right, I think we can bring to that now. <laughs> All right, uh, cheers. <laughs> Bonaventure, ma. I hope you heard what I said. I heard you, ma. I will do my best, ma. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do your best. Do whatever I ask you to do. Okay, ma. I'll do whatever you want me to do, ma. Yeah. Your salary is 10,000 naira every month. 10,000? Yes, 10,000. Uh, madam, please don't be upset, though. Uh, is uh, is my salary negotiable? No, 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 no. I give you whatever I think is good for you. Mm -hmm. 
Are you ready to work or not? I'll work, madam. I'll work. Good. Mary! 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 Ma. Ma. So, you can't open this or dirty mouth and answer me. I answered you, ma. I was at the back of the You answered me? Yes, ma. So, you're not calling me a liar? Ah, no, no, madam. No. It is you. Family members that are lies. Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself and your village, baby. Come and take him to his room. Thank you, madam. Yes, madam. I, I've swept the entire compound. And what is that on your face? Hey, Come on, put that in before I slap you, idiot. Sorry, madam. Sorry. Did you say you swept this compound? Yes, yes, madam. Everywhere is clean. Yes, madam. I see. And I just came out from the backyard now. Everywhere looks as if it has not been swept for decades. But, 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 but madam, I, I, I've swept the entire compound. You have been sweeping. You have been sweeping. Just take a look at my house. Look at my house. Look at everywhere. Look at the walls. Just, just, just look at look at the windows. Everywhere is covered with dust. And you said you have swept it. I'm, eh? I'm sorry, madam. You're sorry for yourself. What do you think you are doing now? I, I, I'm washing the gutter, madam. You are washing the gutter. You are wash. Look at. Just look at. Look at the gutter you are washing. So this is how the people of your town wash gutter. Ma madam, I, I'm still. Shut up your mouth. And listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is the last one. If you're not ready to walk, I will throw you out of this place. Idiot. What is wrong with you? Sorry, madam. Come on. Sorry for yourself. Take this bucket. Come to the backyard and sweep it. Sorry, madam. Uh -uh. Ooh. Imagine. You think I'll pay you 10,000 naira for nothing? Nonsense. Get up, madam is coming. Mary. Bona, Bona, get up, madam is coming. Mary, what is it? Bona, get up, don't let madam come and catch you here. Is it madam? Yes, madam. What were you doing? Uh, madam, I was sweeping the backyard. So, you were still asleep at this hour of the morning? Sleeping? No, madam, I, I was not sleeping, no. Go into the sitting room. Pick all those clothes there and wash them. And make sure you wash them well. Yes, madam. Mona, there would have been a civil war in your room if madam had come there to catch you by herself. 
civil war. When I came here, Nili, she came to my room by five in the morning. She beat the hell out of me for meeting me sleep. Five a.m. I walked and walked and walked. Without food though, the only thing I did not do was to lift this house and sweep the under. Eh? I'm telling you. Wait up. Hold on. Is she that wicked? Hmm. If there was something else that is worse than wicked, it would fit her. I'm sure that is why she doesn't even have children. So uh, what happened to her husband? Her husband. She travelled over a year ago now. He travelled abroad. Only God knows whether he has abandoned herself. Ha. Oh, wow. Anyway, that one is the Awahala. My own is to stay here and make money. I would have gone since, but I need the money. I have needs. I need to pay my younger brother's school fees. I need to take care of my younger sister as well. I really need money. If not, I would have gone. So you had better be very careful if you know you need this money. You have better be very careful with this woman. She's very wicked though. So, hmm, just know what you're doing. I'm already washing it. I'll finish it soon. And now, you wash while I rinse. Before Madame comes out. If Madame comes out now and this car is not washed, <laughs> you don't send another one I'll be there too. Uh, you have a point. Uh, I'll wash while you rinse. Okay. okay? Uh, you know what? What are you doing? I'm, I'm helping Bona with the car. You are helping Bona with the car? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Yes, ma I see. Have you finished your work inside? Yes, ma. I finished my work inside, ma. You have finished? Yes, ma. And you, Bona? Ma? You are not through with the car? Uh, ma, I, I'm almost done. This is the last part. Ah. Okay. Okay. Sure you finished your work inside? Yes, now I finished my work now. Are you sure? I finished my work now. Uh, don't put me into trouble. Hey, I finished my work. What do you know how this one has to be? What is this? I don't know. Hey. Hey. I went to the kitchen to get food. What? The door is locked. Do you have the keys? The kitchen is locked. Yes. Hey. Mmm. That means trouble. Trouble? <laughs> what trouble? That means there's no food for us today. Why? That's my damn style of punishment. Oh. Ha! P -p punishment? For what? P -p 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 I did nothing wrong. Yeah. Mary, did you do anything wrong? Me? What did I do? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Ah! Uh, what is this now? Oh, no, 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 what is this? So I, I work for this woman from morning till now, and there will be no food for me. Why? Eh? What, what sort of nonsense is this? 
Who, who is she? Eh? Who is she? Why is she? Why is she being so wicked? Look, Mary, I'm, I'm going to break that door. And she won't do anything. I'll break it. What's that? You break the door. <laughs> You haven't seen anything yet. But this is not fair. This is not fair. Okay. How could you work for Percy? You're not gonna, you're not gonna give me food. So Does she expect me to chew the, the, the flowers? Okay, eh? okay, okay. Ah, it's okay now. I have some money. We go go buy bread. This is not fair. Bread. Bread. Hey, this is just wickedness. It's wickedness. I, I won't take this again, though. I won't take it. I won't take it. Locked from outside? Yes, obviously. So you mean somebody just went over and locked it from outside? Madame has locked the gate in. Madame has locked us? Ah. Who's all this now? Eh? What is the meaning of all this? Wait, wait, wait. Does she want us to die of hunger? No. Eh? Are we in a prison yard? What will I do? What can I do? I will show you what I will do. Don't touch me! What is it now? What trouble? You put us in trouble. Wait, wait, wait. Eh? What trouble? I'm hungry. I know. Do you want me to die? You won't die of hunger. Am I in a prison yard? Take it easy now. Okay? I'll send someone to come and buy bread. Don't worry. I'll send someone to come and buy bread. Was calling you, uh, madam. I, I, I didn't hear you. I, I was very hungry, so I didn't know when I, I slept off here. Oh, you were so hungry. Your own is food, 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 just food. And you, you were helping Bonai to wash car in the morning, leaving what you're supposed to do, isn't it? <laughs> you will also help him to starve today. Come on, get inside and look for something. Yes, sir. Come on, go! Non entities. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Lord, I ask, Lord, that you forgive my family of everything we must have committed against you. Pray for my son, Kizitu, Sonny. Father, wherever he is, protect him, guide him, direct him. God, touch his heart to come back home. Father, I ask that you touch my husband's heart for him to have mercy in his heart to forgive him. Father, please, touch my husband's heart and bring my son home for me and I will forever be grateful to you. God, thank you for this. Uh, eh? The same way you brought this, you're going to bring the remaining 20,000. I believe you, I believe you. <laughs> ah! So I have 20,000 to go. Another 20,000. Europe by ship. I won't remove a dime from this one. Even if I'm dying of hunger.
how you work in this house. Hmm? Okay. I know what to do. I will transfer you out of this place. Let me know how you continue to sleep. Come on, move. Go and continue to work. Move. Yes, still here. If I've made enough money, I would have disappeared from this place without looking back. Yes, because, come on, it's too much. All these humiliations, embarrassments, insults, it's just too much for one person. <laughs> well, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of two months. Once I grab my 30,000, I'm gone. 30,000? Where are you going with 30,000 there? Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just thousand. Bona, you are talking to yourself. Is there any problem? Okay. Mary, hmm? listen. Eh? Mm. What I'm about to tell you now is my own little secret. So no other ear is meant to hear it. I will tell you. Do you understand? I want to travel to Europe in two months' time. All I need is thirty thousand. Right now, I have ten thousand. In two months' time, I'll have another twenty thousand, making me thirty. At that moment, I'm gone to Europe. Hey, when are you Europe? Europe? Eh? That's a good plan, no? What? I can't wait. 30,000? Mm. How will you travel to Europe with 30,000 naira? Eh, it's very simple. Eh? Right now, all I need is 30,000. I've made a connection. With 30,000, I will travel to Europe by ship. Eh, that's a good plan, no? Mm. See, eh? We are ready to go. Just now. I'll give you anything I have. Eh? Just to support you. Hmm? Yeah. I'll give you. For where you get there, don't forget me. Oh. Thank you very much. I will not. I will not. Hey. Don't you know you are more like a sister to me now? Hey. Hmm? Hey, hey. Bona. Yes. Why is it that you've not told me anything about you or your family? <laughs> There's nothing to tell. There's, there's absolutely nothing to tell. My parents are in the village. And they are extremely poor. That is why I want to go to Europe and hustle, so that I will change my family condition. Mm -hmm. So let's go inside and start the For that woman who just come out. <laughs>
seen it all. Are you working or not? Are you ready to work or not? Madam, I will work. Good. Someone will be bringing food for you. And that's your room over there. Madam, you mean I'll be sleeping here? Yes. And eating here? Yes. Hey, Madam, but... Yeah. No. You will be eating and be sleeping in your father's bedroom. Now listen, if you are not ready to work, leave! Rubbish. Same compound with pigs. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this. Huh? Oh Jesus. So is this is the transfer? So this is the transfer. Well, I knew that she wouldn't move me to anywhere better. Woman is simply heartless. Oh my God. Hmm. Anyway, I just have only 45 days left. That's a month and a half. I'll just play cool till then. I'll play cool. Hmm.
is all this? Huh? What's the meaning of this now? So these people just decided to stab me today. No lunch. And it's past dinner time. Yet, nobody brought my food. Eh? <laughs> they always expect me to eat pig food. Hey. Hey, God. I have almost one bag of pure water in my tummy. This is, this is, and, 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 and I don't want to go and beg all this security of the food. Eh? What's this now? Hey. Because I can't, I can't, I have to eat something. I have to. It's, too, it's just too late for me to go start searching for, for curry and, and sugar to soak down. doesn't become my problem. I hope she doesn't become my problem. What is wrong with you? So you left my pigs at the farm. Came here to complain about food. Stabbing my pigs. Madam, why are you sounding like this? Eh? Why are you sounding like this? I I'm talking about how I was abandoned for two days without food. And you are talking about your pigs. I are they more important than me? Oh. Huh. You have now started talking back at me. Madam, it's, it's not like that. See, it's so painful. Eh? For two days, I've been working in that, in that piggery. No food, no water. It's not fair. Think about it now. If I'm your own child, will you treat me that way? Eh? Now listen. If you don't want to work here again, leave. Madam, that's not what I'm talking about. I did not say I will not work. Eh? I'm the one that has been there working. Eh? I've been doing my best for you, madam. How can I be starved for two days? It's not fair. Now, if you're hungry, go into the kitchen and take your food and eat. Eat, then go back to the farm and feed my pigs. Madam, my, my point is that th things like this should not be happening now. So, you are now telling me what to do in my own house. Madam, it's not like that. Mm. It's, think about it. What if you are in my shoes? How would you feel? Eh? Bona, leave my house. Eh? I don't want you to work here again. No, madam, don't talk like this. Don't talk like this. I'm the one that is offended here. Eh? I, Bona, just... I say leave. Madam, leave. I, don't, I don't understand. You mean as in leave, as in I should go? Yes. I'm sacked. But I said leave my house. Why now? You are sacked. Madam, are you serious? I... Okay. Leave my house. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Uh, no problem. You've made up your mind a long time yes. ago to even sack me. Yes. Fine. Uh, before I leave you, give me my salary. Then I'll go. What? Salary? Yes. What? Salary? Yes, madam. Pay you what? My salary, madam. What salary? The salary that I'm working for. I'm, I'm not working for any other thing but salary. What did I hear you say? My salary. What I've been working for. <laughs> I want it. Uh, pay me now, I'll leave. I am not giving you one cobble. <laughs> madam. <laughs> okay, no problem, I'll leave. But you pay me. <laughs> you don't know me. I am not giving you one couple. You're not owing me. I am not owing you. 
Yes. <laughs> Madam, in fact, eh, you know what? You're going to pay me for two months in advance. Hmm. Yes. So, I'm not running a charity home. I did not say so. I worked for you and you will pay me. Oh, you don't know who you're dealing with. Madam, I'll turn this house upside down. Try me. I want my money, oh. I don't want trouble, oh. You said I should go. Give me my money and let me go with my trouble. Mother, before I close my eyes and open it, you've left my house. Madam, if you like, close your eyes and open it. I'll be here till you pay me. Mother, leave my house. If you don't leave my house, I will call in the police. You call the police? Yes. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Call the police. Army. Navy. Anybody. The, the Asurok. Anywhere. Call anybody. Madam. Hey. I will show you all. I'm, I'm a mad person. You know. I'll, if, I'll kill you. If you don't pay me, I'll kill you. You will kill me. I, I, I'll kill you here if you don't give me my money. You will kill me. <laughs> Madam, if you go upstairs, make sure you come down with my salary. Because I will not leave. No head of Bonaventure. Ah, uh, what's that? You think you can push me around the way you like? Because I've been, uh, uh, I've been so obedient. Now uh, I know my right, though, Madam. Bring my salary, or this house will not. I'll turn it upside down.
Forgiven him. Go and sleep. Nay, should he come inside now? I said, go and sleep. Go and sleep. Nay, should he come inside? Go and sleep.
How may I help you? Please please hear me out. Please, I made a mistake. I swear. Please help me back, Daddy. I want to come back home. I've realized my mistakes. I, I, I can't. I should help you back. Kazito! You robbed this family. 20 million naira at gunpoint. And you call that your own share of the family's wealth. It was a mistake. Squandered it. It was the devil. And I used mine judiciously. Now you want me to go back and beg daddy for food. Kiss me, please. Kiss me, don't, don't, don't. Do you know what is good for you? No. Drink poison and die. Uh, uh, kiss me, please. Kiss me, please. Kiss me, please. You're my last one. Kiss me. Kiss me, daddy will hear you when you talk to me. Let me go. Come back. Let me go. 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 Until you get you send me a message, before I come, you don't open the gate. You open the gate for him? No. You open the gate for him? No, I think I'm not. Daddy, please help me, help me. Daddy, please. If you will not forgive me, daddy, kill me. Help me. Hey, no, you don't go. Kill me, let me die. No, you don't go, you don't go. I have no reason. You were here when this boy held a gun. And collected a check for 20 million. Father, it was the devil. That guy was him. blind. You don't know what he's doing, Nai Beacon. Eh? Nai. Nai. Look at your son lying down. Daddy, with please. You. Daddy, please. Oh, God. Daddy. 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 Daddy, Daddy, forgive me. Yeah. Daddy, forgive me, please. <laughs> to forgive is divine, Daddy. To forgive is divine. Oh, God. Oh, to take care of it, oh, God. God, take my life. Take my life. Yes, there is something I want you to do for me. Tomorrow I want you to take Sunday along with you. Let him watch you as you interact with our foreign partners. Let him begin again the process of learning the ropes. And um, I'd like you to put him through. Um, it is a process of reorientation. After the experience he's had, it will not be very easy predicting him now. Dad, I'm not quite comfortable with taking Kisito to the office with me. He might end up messing up everything that I've labored for. Um, I am not as pessimistic as that. Back to the family. 
you are his immediate elder brother. And um, if there is anybody who is capable of guaranteeing his reorientation, that person is you. Um, remember that before he went astray, with a very brilliant boy, demonstrated uncanny business argument, yes. He's your brother. After all he said and done, in spite of everything. But you see, as the first son, I, I think you owe me, us, that obligation. I trust son. What's wrong? You are not dressed for the office. Why? Dad, I don't feel like going. If Kissy does can go with us, he might as well take over everything. What do you mean by that? Dad, this is why it's unfair. Kissy Doan left this house with 20 million naira. His own share of this family's wealth. Came back here and you accepted him back. You expect me to be happy. In other words, I've been wasting my time running the family's business. What if I had collected my own portion of the family's wealth? Probably wasted it like he did. Where would it have placed this family today? Where, Dad? Since I came back, Kingsley hasn't been treating me like a brother. He has refused to accept me back. Most times when I, I would want to talk to him, he wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't give me audience. He wouldn't even want to see me anywhere around him. It's bothering me so much. Yes, son, it should bother you. Um, <clears throat> but you must try to see it from Kingsley's own perspective. Kingsley's reaction is purely psychological, and um, it will take him some time to get over it. Um, you got up suddenly through the 20 million that you spent in Kingsley's bio money, and uh, you spent it came back with your tail between your legs. And uh, what does I know that the family is uh, trying to contain that signal misdemeanor? On his own part, as your brother, he's not finding it easy at all because he knows how far 20 million can go. He's been a very obedient son, faithful to the company's business. He doesn't really see why he should be reaccepted. But you are his brother. Both of you are my children, my sons. I will speak with him. But, uh, it will take him some time to get over it. But he will, eventually. He doesn't have a choice. Get over it. And I pray that God touches his heart to forgive me. I pray that he accepts me back. I want this family to be one happy, big family again. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and make you and his brother. We are both my sons. Yes, Michelle. Very 
there's something like that. Each time I'm alone, my past keeps haunting me. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I wish all this never happened. I want to put my past behind me. I want to be seen to be responsible. traditional values which we hardly compromise. You shouldn't get married before your elder brother. Um, it's like uh, taking a title. If I decide now to give both of you titles that will mark you out culturally, I will first give your elder brother a title than you. Same thing. And I know you understand that. So the intention is good. Let's just give it some time and see we wash it, right? I know that by getting married, you would have completed your process of reformation, which is wonderful. But uh, let's give it time. Thank you very much, Daddy. This is the last straw. I'm going to turn this house into a battlefield if things are not done the right way. What is going on here? Kisito will never get married before me. Never. Not in this house. Not while I'm alive. It will never happen. I mean, what, what sort of conspiracy is this? Have you people conspired against me? What is going on? What yes. have I done to deserve all this? Seriously. Come on, what is going on here? Nine. What is it? Kinsley said that we're planning to marry for Sonny. I don't know where he got such information from. I've been trying to convince him that there is no such thing. But he wouldn't listen to me. Is that all? Yes, and I. <laughs> Come on, please sit down. Sit down. Uh, Kinsley, you are the first son of this family. In my absence, you are running the family. Every part of it, including all the businesses that we have. In our culture, there is no way your younger brother can ever get married before you. By the same token, if I decide tomorrow confer traditional titles on you people. You are the first son. We'll get it first before your brother. So this is <laughs> this is not a topic at all. And because you people have made me sweat more than I'm supposed to because I'm coming from outside, Kinsey, I'm going to tax you. You will go outside and buy me a very cold bottle of beer from your own pocket because you have enough money to do that. I have always bought it for you. This time you're buying it for me. Very cold. <laughs> You the surprised we are in here. When you see, whenever I want to take a very, very serious decision, 
and coming here. And what I'm about to discuss with you is a very serious issue. I noticed that since your brother came back after his um, extravagant spree, um, you have found it difficult accepting him. It is understandable. Again, it is psychological. What he did is unpardonable. But then again, it's done. He is back. He's my son. He's your brother. No matter how you look at it. Uh, we wouldn't wish him dead. No. Um, I married his mother. After your mother died, you were three years old then. Um, I don't want the people who know our family history to think that you do not want to accept him because you are not from the same mother. No. Because of that, I am doing everything possible to ensure that you reconcile yourself to the fact that you are the first in this family. If the Almighty God calls me up tomorrow, it is your responsibility administering the family. In our culture, if the first son that inherits everything that his father has, however you decide to share it is how it's going to be. If you tell Sonny this is your portion, that's what he will have. You tell your sister this belongs to you, that's what she'll have. But of course, you know that ordinarily in our culture, we don't give property to women. So, um, everything I have belongs to you. That's not contestable. Um, you're not contesting that except that you don't like what your brother did. Well, he has done it. Um, I am worth much more than that. So, let's let's try to see whether we can, uh, we can make him responsible again. He, he's the only brother that you have. Uh, by the way, um, how far have you gone with that building project? Well, um, Dad, I, I decided to put a stop to the building. Why? I spent so much money on it. Currently, I spent like 18 million naira on the project. Mm -hmm. And the contractor is still asking for more money. Mm -hmm. And you know the long tennis is still there. The long tennis court have not rounded up with that. The swimming pool is there. No, you see, the basketball court is still there, not finished. So I decided to put a stop to it because I don't want to waste the family's fortune. Okay. Um, how much do you think it would cost you to finish that building, swimming pool and all? And the contractor is saying 15 million mm. Okay, everything. Put the interior finishing. Mm. Okay. I will give you 25 million. So that if you use 15, use the other 10 in furnishing the apartment, the building, and uh, you can buy a very imposing vehicle, prefer yeah, a preferably a Jeep. <laughs> so you can pack it outside so that anybody who comes in will know that uh, the young man who lives here is a man of substance. Uh, Daddy. Yes. Good. Um, now wait, wait, wait. There was a time you showed me a girl. You said you were head over heels in love with. For some time now, you've not been talking about her. Why? Oh, Dad, I'm not very impressed with that girl now. Are her parents still alive? Yes, they are alive, but they're not living together. Ah, that's bad news. Don't ever get into a girl whose parents are separated and are alive. It's going to be a very big mistake. Abandon her totally and look for somebody else. The moment you find a girl you think is worth the trouble, show her to me. I'll take it over from there. <laughs> Daddy, you know I would never say no to you. Can we drink on that? No. All right, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Better days ahead. Yeah. Hey, better days ahead.
Det här ska man ner. our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us that's our everyday prayer Kinsley you cannot imagine the pain in my heart since you refused to talk to me I cannot imagine the trauma I've been passing through, knowing that you have refused to associate with me. Knowing that you have assaulted me from your life. Kinsley, Kinsley, don't forget the fact that I'm your blood brother. The same blood runs in our veins. Kinsley, don't forget the love that we shared together. The wonderful moments. Kingston. Don't forget that to err is human. And to forgive. Divine. Kingston. I saw hell. Made a mistake. You know, I, and I've learned my lessons. Give me another chance. Please. Don't turn your back on me. Please, Kingsley. I beg you. Good evening, madam. My name is Kinsley A.K. And I guess you know this young man. Are you surprised? Oh, come on, madam. Don't tell me you're surprised. Huh? Oh, it's a small world. <laughs> well, madam, uh, I am not Bonaventure. My name is Kizito. Kizito? Yes, Kizito. I am the second son of Chief Richard A.K. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> so where is her? Oh, there she is. Buna? The one I told you about. Is that the girl? Yeah, she is the one. Hello. Good, 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 good evening, sir. My name is Kinsley Eke, and this is my brother. Actually, he has told me a lot about you, and I think he has got some word for you. All right? First of all, I am not Bonaventure. My real name is Kizito, and this is my elder brother. Mary, I told you that I will come back for you. Here I am, baby. I am here to take you to my family. And you know what? 
It is time to change your life. Listen, do you think you can just come into my house and take away my girl just like that? Hey, madam. No, 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 boy, hold on. Madam, you don't have any right over her life. What do you mean? Mary, go ahead. Mary, I said you should come into my arms, Mary. Mary. I said come into my arms. Don't be scared. Go ahead, girl. Mary. Go ahead, Mary. Time. 